So I would like to. So you can come in. Come in, <laughs> So um, uh, what I'm going to show you now is the way that um, we, we the technology is working. Um, why is it recognizing you? Let me just reset it, okay? Uh-huh. And the way that we track the human body, as you can see, it's tracking my body uh, at all time, no matter how quickly I'm doing that. Uh -huh. And over the bottom, we set a few positions and movements. So whenever I'm doing uh, something that we decided upon, it's lit up immediately uh -huh. with almost no latency at all. And we can do some quicker stuff like uh, this uh, swipe yeah. or uh, jump and uh, moving to the right. So all of this information is passed to the game developers to make an interaction. This is interacting with a computer just through a webcam. Uh, we also uh, analyze the third dimension, the depth. As you can see, the, the color changing uh, through uh, just uh, when I'm moving my hand forward. Now it's all in the same plane. So you see it uh, just as the entire color. And we can, of course, analyze if the person is moving towards the camera can see the triangle over at the right bottom right corner and moving backwards it's moving backward with me so that's the basic technology as we as we create it because um, no matter what the person is doing we're tracking it in all time and, uh, and analyzing the human body I'll show you a tool that we give our uh, developers it's called uh, super pause So let's just create a, a nice uh, interaction uh, game. Um, just let's call it game one. So let's say the first uh, position we're looking for is just the Y letter position. Okay, and we'll call it letter Y. Over here, we set the tolerance to be 30 degrees. So we don't care if it's really accurate. Now let's say the second element we care about is only the right hand. So we just do this and over here, it's like, hello. And over here, let's make it a bit more accurate. So let's put 10 degrees and 10 degrees over here. And the third element, let's make it uh, just a jump. We have various kind of elements already pre-programmed. So let's put just here a jump going up. And actually that's, that's all we need because now we just open up the camera. Doing the same trick. So the body is analyzed in all time. And when I move just one hand up, it doesn't say anything. But when I move my second hand up, it will say the letter Y. Uh, or as you can see, I can move a little bit because we gave a tolerance of 30 degrees. It will, we don't have to be very accurate. But for the hello, we just have to be very, very accurate. It doesn't matter what the left hand is doing, as long as the right hand is in the right position. But if I move just a bit, it will not say hello anymore. It's very, very accurate and just the jump number three that we created. So it's all coming live. It's all very easy to program. These are just basic elements. And all of this is turned into a... Um, um, an XML file. With all this information over here, you take it, you throw it into your development environment, and you just created the whole layer of motion within your application and your game. Uh, we have actually two dance games uh, available right now. First one is um, is available for PC. Can be downloaded uh, practically on any online store called Dance One Remix. So this is a game that initially was built for 3D camera and specific hardware. We just took it and uh, created a whole game based for the website for for websites and webcam. And I'm navigating just with my hand. Now you can see my body is being tracked. And I have to match myself to the wall in front of it. If I don't do it correctly, that's what happens. Yeah, it's actually kind of... Uh, it's pretty fast. And this is not the most difficult level. If I just... If I make it wrong, and if I do it correctly, 
it's it's actually you get used to it and it's very very nice you have to kick these ones away and so on and so on now now let me show you something else and this is just an iPad actually Sega developed the game so your iPad becomes your uh, your motion console uh-huh okay so the camera of the iPad is now is enough we're just using this camera over here can you show it again this camera over here the, F the FaceTime camera yeah now acting as your uh, motion detection camera Thank you.